If your punches feel super, super weak and you want a bit more power without doing loads of strength work and building loads of muscle and getting big, you can change and alter your technique to learn how to punch harder right now or in your next session. Here's three ways to punch harder for boxing. I'm Cody from Ring Ready Boxing. I've been boxing for six plus years as I make this video and I coach boxing every single day. So now I'm gonna teach you how to punch harder and this is gonna be like dead simple tips which you will literally take into your next session. If you watch this video, I want you to go into your next session and literally practice what I'm gonna teach today and you will feel the difference. Now, first tip, tip number one, we're gonna be doing what's called sitting down on your punches. So what sitting down on your punches looks like is, it's more to do with the leg. Now, as you may know, punches do come from the legs and the feet up. So it starts from the ground, the power, and it works way through the feet and through the body, and your fist is what delivers that punch and that power. But if you wanna get more power, I want you to sit down on your punches more. So rather than being super upright here, or even on your toes too much, you can't get too much power from that. I want you to just sit down a little bit watch me bend the leg it's only a slight movement there sit down on your punches and actively think about pushing your feet into the ground don't go away from the ground push your feet into the ground so if i'm on my toes here there there's only so much power i can get there there's only so much power i can get i know that's a jab as well but if i sit down and i want to throw them power shots bend the leg slightly tighten up my core you can get more power just by sitting down pushing them feet into the ground. Tip number two we're gonna be going through, I find this one really interesting, but it's gonna be pulling your punches, not pushing, we're gonna be pulling our punches. Now what I mean by that is, rather than, I'll show you from a, an angle here, let's say I throw that lead hook, rather than trying to push into the bag, like that, see I'm trying to push my weight into it, I'm actually gonna pull my body. So what this is gonna look like, if I hold my back hand here, Rather than thinking, oh, put all my weight on the hook, I'm losing my balance and losing the power. I'm gonna hold my right hand here and I'm gonna pull my shoulder back and essentially use my back shoulder as the power. That pull back there is what's gonna generate the power for me. And the hand, the hook, is literally just what delivers the punch, all right? So if I go here, I'm gonna pull my shoulder, just there, all right? Then I'll reset, there. There. One more time, there you go. So that's what's pulling your punch in is. And, and, that, and that can work with any punch, by the way. It's not just like that. Any punch I throw, if I throw a right uppercut, so this time, if I throw a shot of my backhand, I can still pull that front shoulder back a little bit like this. There, there. Go again, so I'll throw two at once. There, so I'm, I'm pulling my punches, I'm being nice and relaxed with it, and it can just help you get that whip effect. Rather than throwing your weight and losing your balance, you can get more power by actually pulling your body and your punches. Hey guys, just wanted to quickly pause you in this video and say that I do have a free punch power guide which covers all the things we're going through today and a lot more on how to develop your punching power for boxing. Just go to the description, as there'll be a link there, and you can go grab a copy for yourself completely for free. Tip number three, this is gonna be the final one of the day. Now this one is gonna be transferring your weight. Now pulling your punches comes very close to transferring your weight. Because when you're boxing, what I mean by transferring your weight is, so if I go on my normal stance here, I might throw an uppercut, and my weight will start on the back foot. I'll throw an uppercut, transfer my weight forward slightly, then when I throw the hook, I'm gonna pull that shoulder, but also bring my weight just on the back foot a little bit. There. So I'll show you again. So, boom. So I'm just slightly transferring that weight from front foot to back foot, and it's very minimal movement. So I'm not, I'm not gonna lean in, oh, there. See, that's way too much. I'm not quite balanced there, and then come all the way back here. It's just little movements. Just there. Works with any punch combinations. All right, so that's a nice, easy way to get more power in your punches with less effort. So at the end of the day, getting power in your punches is not just throwing everything into it and going all wild. So there's three tips on how to get more power in your punches. I hope this helped. Now please go and apply this information in your next session as you'll feel the difference straight away. 
Now these techniques will take a little bit of practice. Soon it'll become natural. So just do some work on it, practice it over and over again, and soon it will feel normal. Right now it might feel a little bit alien if you've not done much stuff like this before, but get on the bag, practice working on the power. But the key is stay relaxed and don't look to throw really hard, heavy shots. Let your body do all the work because the secret to getting power in your punches is basically putting in less effort to get more output. So the more I try and go really hard, I can get power, but you can see them punches coming and they're a bit wild. I want to be able to get power without you even seeing that I'm getting power. I want my punches to be sharp. I want them to be like a whip. I want them to be quick. That's what we're aiming for. So anyone can stand there and load up on a bag, but you want your power to be nice and subtle so you can disguise them shots and land nice, beautiful body shots and head shots with good intent in them. Now I'm Cody from Ring Ready Boxing. If you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more boxing content and just comment down below if there's anything you wanna see in particular next, because I do look at the comments. If you've got any questions, I will reply to you. Um, and if there's any videos you wanna see, just drop them down below and I'll look at them and I'll make some videos for you. But I hope you enjoyed that one. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon.